Hello and welcome to our channel True Up. We are all aware that the semiconductor industry is both capital and technology intensive. If you want to make a name for yourself in the semiconductor industry, you must have a large collection of unique resources. Only in this manner can you hope to create a scale effect on the business rapidly. However, China has glaring shortcomings in this area. Years of technical lag have forced the whole industrial chain to behind Europe and the United States. Because of this, Huawei will halt the manufacture of high silicon chips when the US modifies the semiconductor laws. After all, the inability of TSMC to ship freely was similar to shutting off the manufacturing route of Huawei Hazilicon chips, but Huawei never abandoned its aim to manufacture its own chips. Although Hazilicon chip manufacture has ceased, the whole R&D team has retained them. Fortunately, the effort is rewarded. Huawei appears to have discovered a way to make high-performance semiconductors without using the EUV lithography process. We may deduce Huawei's next development path from the company's 2021 annual report, which was issued in March. So, what are Huawei's new security measures? What exactly is Huawei's latest patent? According to my understanding, Huawei may adopt a multi-core topology in the future, trading stacking in space for chip performance. Now, Huawei has released a patent application for a chip stacking package and terminal equipment filed in September 2019, which may tackle the problem of high costs caused by the usage of through silicon through technology while maintaining power supply need. The announcement comes only days after Huawei's rotating chairman, Guo Ping, claimed that the company might deploy innovative semiconductor packaging technologies to assist alleviate US regulations. Through silicon via technology, as a high-density packaging technique, may make transistors more integrated and provide better performance, but the downside of a more challenging process is that an EUV lithography equipment is required. The cost of an EUV lithography equipment is relatively costly, and the production efficiency is quite low, resulting in a high cost of chip fabrication. Furthermore, because only ASML can supply an EUV lithography equipment, Huawei is looking at other options to prevent EUV light. The issue with the engraving machine getting trapped in the neck. Huawei Technologies Co Ltd has submitted a patent application in mainland China for an innovation in semiconductor packaging, which industry analysts say might help the firm avoid the impact of US chip sanctions. According to the State Intellectual Property Office's official website, Huawei revealed a chip-related patent on April 5. The invention, titled A Chip Stacking Package and Terminal Equipment, is related to semiconductor technology and can overcome the problem of high cost caused by the usage of through silicon via technology while meeting power supply needs. Huo Ping, Huawei's rotating chairman, stated at the recent Huawei 2021 annual report conference that Huawei may use a multi-core structure chip design scheme in the future to boost chip performance. Simultaneously, the utilization of area for performance and stacking for performance, so that less sophisticated technologies may remain competitive in future goods. It's worth noting that this is Huawei's first public confirmation of chip stacking technology. In other words, better performance may be swapped by expanding the area and stacking, allowing low-tech processes to compete with high-performance devices. Privately owned in May 2019, Washington placed Huawei, the world's largest telecom equipment manufacturer and previously China's leading smartphone provider, on its trade blacklist. Since then, the corporation has tried to alter its operations to fit stricter constraints set in 2020, such as access to semiconductors created or manufactured in the United States from anywhere. TSV Technology, according to a 2009 report published by the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, allows stacked chips to be joined by direct contact, resulting in high-speed signal processing and enhanced light detection for image sensing. TSVs have been used in high-volume chip fabrication for the past decade. Huawei's current endeavor mirrors a request made by Chinese industry leaders last June at the World Semiconductor Conference in the eastern city of Nanjing to pursue advances in chip assembly and packaging technologies. On the sidelines of the event, Zhang Li, CEO of Chengdian Technology, stated that improved chip packaging, which combines a number of integrated circuits into a powerful semiconductor, will aid in the expansion of Moore's law. First noticed in 1965 by Intel co-founder Gordon Moore, Moore's law has become the rule of thumb for advancements in computer power. It maintains that the number of transistors on a chip doubles about every two years, while the entire cost of processing power is half. 
What are the biggest challenges Huawei has in the semiconductor industry? The primary challenge Huawei confronts in semiconductors is that it cannot manufacture sophisticated chips owing to present equipment and foundry limits, Wang Min, a chip packaging technology specialist, explained. One alternative is to employ bigger nodes to make chips, but this comes at a cost in terms of power consumption, Wang Min explained. Another option is to integrate several types of chips available in a SIP system in package to create a full final chip. This similarly reduces power usage, but has the advantage of a quicker development cycle, cheaper final cost, and so on. The consumer division of Huawei, which includes cell phones, is bearing the brunt of US trade penalties. In 2021, revenue for the company decreased 50% year-on-year to 243.4 billion yuan, $38.24 billion. We need to reinvent our technological philosophy and architecture, Hua Ping stated last week at a press briefing. We may use Surface for performance, stacking, and less sophisticated processes and technologies to guarantee Huawei's products stay competitive. This is the route Huawei is taking. Meanwhile, Huawei is strengthening its Legion, a Google-inspired organizational architecture, in order to increase income this year. What exactly are Huawei's new legions? Huawei later announced the development of 10 further legions, increasing its total number of specialist teams to 15. With a shorter reporting line to Huawei executives, the new army will focus on a variety of digital transformation goods and services. Electric Power Digital Core, Government Affairs One Netcom Core, Airport and Rail Core, Interactive Media Core, Sports Health Core, Display New Nuclear Core, Park Core, Wide Area Network Core, Data Center Base Core, and Legion of Digital Sites are the 10 core assembled this time. The name of the Legion also indicates the direction of Huawei's current key layout. Approximately half of the Legion is associated with digital and intelligent business, which is also the fundamental goal for Huawei's rapid expansion. Simultaneously, terminal-related businesses such as sports health, wearable, smart screen, and others have been added to the army. In short, the new Huawei solution, in my perspective, is not suitable to some goods with high-performance needs but tiny device size. Small-sized high-performance circuits, such as wearable devices, still require EUV lithography equipment to be produced, and the package-on-package -package solution may not be accessible. However, there aren't many such products, and even smartphones will be less affected as the size of smartphones grows, and they develop in the direction of folding screens, so smartphones can also use this technology. A stack of chips. As a result, in the face of US sanctions and a blockade of EUV lithography machines, Huawei's impact will continue to diminish, and with the concentrated rise of my country's industrial chain, it is expected to develop domestic advanced lithography machines in the future will be limited thanks for watching our video we would appreciate it if you subscribed our channel and gave us a thumb see you